afternoon. First of all, I would like to thank the organizing committee of this international meeting focused in APS for inviting me to participate and share with you some aspects related to APS. Secondly, my apologies for not being able to be here with all of you today due to a logistic and personal concerns. I hope that this non-face-to-face -face format is acceptable for you. So, I am talking about the possible relationship between the clot pathway alterations or modifications in pregnancy and the risk to suffer thrombotic storm or catastrophic thrombotic syndromes. So, as you already know, physiologically, pregnancy entails a marked increase of procoagulant factors and decrease of anticoagulant activity, inducing a net increment on platelet activation with a secondary hyperactivation of clot cascade, developing an indisputable prothrombotic status. So, the pregnancy is a, is a, a, a risk uh, situation for thrombosis. As you already, um, sorry, as you can see in this slide, the thrombotic risk during pregnancy is high. Four to 10 falls during a normal gestation and up to 22 falls risk in postpartum. In addition, the presence of other inflammatory prothrombotic pregnancy-related disorders, such as preeclampsia, may increase the risk. 10. The preeclampsia and thrombosis are the main causes of morbid mortality uh, in pregnant women. Some, to some topics to be considered. Hypercoagulated state on pregnancy is increasingly up towards third trimester labor up to six to eight weeks postpartum. It reflects the higher risk of venous thrombolic disease. Potential bidirectional relationship with recurrent pregnancy losses, preeclampsia, health syndrome, and fetal growth restriction have to be considered. Furthermore, disruption of anticoagulant mechanisms, for instance, the presence, the positivity for, for antibodies to annexin A5 may increase the risk to suffer thrombosis. The association with different congenital or acquired thrombogenic risk factors can also promote thrombosis. And any pro-inflammatory event may also contribute to an increase of clot pathway activation and further thrombosis. In brief, pregnancy plus individual background mass associated trigger or triggers factors may induce hyperinflammatory or prothrombotic status that may evolve in a, in a thrombotic storm. So, other different um, uh, items have to be considered in the pregnant women. The first one is a basal characteristic at and during gestation. Diabetes mellitus or gestational diabetes, previous hypertension, multiple pregnancy, obesity, immobilization or rest, age more than 35 years, ethnicity or C-section will increase the risk. Even more, if this woman or these women have other associated prothrombotic conditions, such as previous inflammatory disorders, mainly autoimmune, acquired thrombophilia, particularly APS, 
inherited thermophilia are important. The pregnancy induced or the pregnancy associated pro inflammatory conditions. In the pregnancy associated conditions, please, you can see in this slide that it has been put the SARS CoV 2 infection and, in a lesser extent, the COVID 19 vaccination. In this slide, you can see the most common inherited thrombophilia being uh, protein C, protein S, and antithrombin deficiencies, the most risk, particularly during pregnancy and propelium. In this slide, show the most frequent triggers for thrombosis in pregnancy. Two, pregnancy related disorders, for instance, uh, preeclampsia and related syndromes. The perperium, the, for, the form of pregnancy termination, for instance, C-section, the shift and the beginning of the pregnancy from antivitamin K to heparin, the underlying pro-inflammatory conditions, trauma, the infections, particularly um, SARS-CoV-2 infection, COVID-19 vaccination, and certain drugs. Be aware on the possible risk of severe SARS-CoV-2 infection and even the COVID-19 vaccination in the, uh, in the, uh, and the possible relationship with the um, catastrophic thrombotic syndromes. So this slide pretends to show that the bidirectional relationship between inflammation and thrombosis and vice versa. Briefly, as you can see in this slide, many inflammatory triggers may induce activation of caspase and nuclear factor kappa beta with subsequent relief of TH1 cytokines. In addition, some clot factors, once bind to protease activated receptors, PAR, facilitate the delivery, the delivery of chemotectin factors, TH1 cytokines, and complement pathway activation. So, it's clear this relationship, inflammation, thrombosis, thrombosis, inflammation. It's like a, no, a CAT-22. What are the catastrophic thrombotic syndromes or thrombotic storms? Thrombotic storms is a rare acute hypercoagulated state characterized by multiple thromboembolic events affecting at least, usually three or more, different areas of vascular systems organs over a short period of time. Triggers are mandatory. And typical ones may be or include inflammation, infections, including SARS-CoV-2, minor trauma, surgery, C-section, pregnancy and proprium. When thrombotic storm is seen or appears in a patient with APS, the condition is referred to as catastrophic antiphospholipid syndrome. So all these uh, uh, um, diseases that finally um, ended in a, in, a, in, a, in a multiple thrombosis have a similar diagnostic criteria. Usually are young, young, <coughs> young people with a good two, three or more um, arterial or venous affected areas use in unusual lo location in a progressive form and frequently, if not ever, proceed by initiate, initiating a trigger. In our case, important, pregnancy by itself, pregnancy-related disorders or pregnancy-related disorders.
this slide shows the most important syndromes that have in common the multiple thrombosis or the activation of thrombosis cascade. The catastrophic APS, the atypical thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, the cancer-associated thrombosis, the gelayet or spontaneous hyperinduced thrombocytopenic thrombosis, the idiopathic forms, and the new and recently described the thrombotic thrombocytopenic syndrome related to vac vaccine to COVID-19 that uh, uh, we're going to, to discuss below. We have also to consider disorders that can mimic preeclampsia or even that may be associated with. In summary, different clinical phenotypes may express the same underlying pathogenic mechanisms. Interestingly, some of the disorders share are hyperferrotidemic situation. So there is a, a merge of different disorders that share similar characteristics in the physiopathological basis, in the clinical picture, and, the, in, in, and in the outcomes. So a new disease pandemic COVID-19 have arisen as a severe pro-inflammatory protein body state may present. Hyperinflammatory syndrome and thrombotic event uh, uh, may appear. In addition, severe clothing disturbances have also been related to vaccination with multiple thrombosis and particularly the name thrombosis with thrombocytopenia syndrome, formerly vaccine induced immune thrombotic thrombocytopenia. This is like, in this is like, pretend to show the mechanisms throughout the uh, SARS-CoV-2 may entry to the cells, in this case, in the thelial and trophoblast cells. As placental and vascular tissue express AC, AC2 receptors, may facilitate the SARS-CoV-2 binding with ulterior ends into the cell, provoking and pro-inflammatory and pro thrombotic status in certain cases. Interestingly, a new placental related variant of preeclampsia has been described by us and other groups. The differences is not, are not clinical, but in, bio, in biomarkers. I mean, the ratio between anti-angiogenic and angiogenic ratio is normal in these cases. This preeclampsia like could occasionally induce a thrombotic storm. So, this is light one to show the TTS, the thrombosis with thrombocytopenia syndrome associated with COVID in vaccination, as may be present also in women and in, 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 in pregnant women. This syndrome is very similar to other catastrophic syndromes induced by other triggers, except to positivity in a, in a, in a, in a rapid test for the complexes uh, um, platelet factor for heparin. Being this situation quasi in indistinguishable to hyperin-induced thrombotic, thr thrombotic thrombocytopenia syndrome. So uh, you can see that diagnostic criteria are, are very similar with other similar disorders and the unique and only differences refers to the trigger that in this case obviously are the vaccines, particularly the Janssen and uh, Pfizer BioNTech vaccines. So, this slide shows the differences between the hyperin induced and the vaccine induced 
thrombotic thrombocytopenia. And really, the differences are, for instance, the prevalence that is lower in the vaccine induced, the site of thrombosis with a, um, a, a, specific, a specifically more frequent several vein, vein sinus thrombosis or splenic veins, the differences in the positivity when used uh, HAT rapid screening assays, positive in very induced and negative in vaccine induced. The washed platelet activity assay, that is positive in IGT and negative in vaccine induced. The platelet count that are lower in vaccine induced. And probably the different behavior when you treat with heparin. The heparin really induce uh, severely the clinical picture in heparin induced, and there is a gap in this uh, topic in vaccine induced. So all these situations may happen also in pregnant women. The catastrophic development syndrome really is a, is a rare disease, of course, it affects less than 1% of, of patients, in this case women, diagnosis as having uh, APS, but may be possible. These, uh, these uh, patients um, have the, or are posit positive for antifluorescent antibodies, are pregnant, and then the pregnancy may act as a trigger. The clinical presentation is common with multi organ failure, according to the, the thrombotic uh, 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 involvement in different organs or systems. And the lab, the lab studies uh, may show or show thrombocytopenia and mild microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. In this slide, you can see the diagnostic criteria that differs only in the previous ones because in this syndrome. Um, one item is to have three or more organs, systems, or tissues involved, and some of the others only uh, demands two or more than two. But it's very similar for all these kind of disorders. So the pregnancy is a prone is a situation that prone patients are prone the pregnant woman to suffer thrombosis or in, in, in a rare cases, really a thrombotic storm or catastrophic thrombotic syndromes. In the, in, in, even being rare, I, I, I have been in the last year, some of the cases that had depicted in this picture, thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura, thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura associated with easy lee, thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura syndrome in patients with APL, maybe CAPS, a typical hemolytic uh, uh, um, anemia, uremic syndrome, sorry, help induce it, DIC or help induce thrombosis, and multithrombotic syndrome related to severe COVID-19. So, although the catastrophic thrombotic syndrome or thrombotic storm management is out of the scope of this lecture, we have to consider in brief different steps as follow. The prevention, accurate control of previous morbidities when possible. Avoid triggers when possible. Two, Control, very important, control of pregnancy-related pro-inflammatory conditions. Early preeclampsia, eclampsia, health syndrome, infections, drugs. And start treatment as soon as possible when the disease is present. Different steps. 
the first one to treat triggers, infection, inflammatory conditions that are related to the pregnancy, for instance, severe preeclampsia help, stop drugs, cyclosporin, tricolimus, and 10 plus non-targeted standard of care that is common of all its kind of disorders, plasma change or plasma furesis anticoagulants with or without heparin, according to the underlying disorders, intravenous immunoglobulins and intravenous corticosteroids and or cyclophosphamide. And in, in selected cases, you can use a quasi-targeted drugs, eculizumab in those cases where the complement pathway activation have to be blocked, tocilizumab in cases that you can block the interleukin-6 or salimumab, rituximab when you can block the CD, CD20 lymphocytes, acaplacizumab in cases of thrombotic thrombocytopenic, a purpura with the idea to block the domain A1 of one Villebrand factor that impede their binding with the platelet. So, ending, some take home messages in these cases. First of all, first one, sorry. Physiologically, hypercoagulatory state is related to normal pregnancies. And those pregnant women are prone to have thrombosis, mainly venous. Previous comorbidities on those that appear during pregnancy may increase the prothrombotic state and risk and may have a an additional risk. Inflammatory pregnancy related disorders increase the thrombotic risk. Multiple thrombosis and or in unusual places must prove physicians to think in catastrophic thrombotic syndromes. Severe preeclampsia help syndrome and antiphospholipid syndrome are the main causes of catastrophic thrombotic syndromes during pregnancy and proparium. Prompt and aggressive treatment should be started to decrease the maternal fetal mortality. Early delivery has to be advised in some of these cases. And close corporal monitoring is advised in all these cases and in those with risk factors. Thank you very much for your time and for your kind attention.